Good afternoon, traders. Welcome to this week's Crypto Corner. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Some uh, market moves on uh, the cryptocurrencies and especially Bitcoin has moved quite a number of points. Uh, we will uh, do a trade recap on that and see how that is played out and see what the next expected move is on the cryptocurrencies. Right, so let's uh, check out if you'd like to contact us, uh, check out a, under the description of all our videos. Uh, this is the last video that we have here. Uh, if you check under the description, you will find a contact details. Just make note that my number has changed there. We're using a new contact number. If you want to contact us on WhatsApp, Telegram channel, uh, follow us on TradingView. We'll be posting up some charts uh, in on TradingView uh, soon, as well as our website. So now on our website, you can uh, look at all our services uh, and also when the next course starts. I uh, see here, the next, we currently just complete, we have just completed the uh, October course. Now the last course of the, of the year is going to be from the 30th of November. This is the last one for the year. Uh, so if you'd like to book for the course, you can go onto the website and book for that course. You will get a fully recorded course, previous course, uh, when you make a booking. So that means when you attend the live course in uh, November or the 30th of November, you would have already watched the course and you'll be able to interact and participate. Right, so that's what we have. So look at also for the timestamps for the specific pairs. So you don't have to go through all the instruments that you're not interested in. You can just watch the ones that you're interested in. Check out our Twitter page as well as our Facebook page. We post all our charts before or after, whether they play out or not, all of them, we post them up there. Right, so let's get started with this week's analysis. We're gonna be starting with Bitcoin. Let's start with Bitcoin. We've got it, we had a trade set up on Bitcoin. Let's just have a look at it now. So we're looking at Bitcoin on our Slack group. So this is what was shared for members before the bit, bit, before Bitcoin resumed its move. And this was not only just last week, this was, uh, I think about two weeks ago when we shared this with the members. So we shared on this small correction. What has happened after this, it went up here and make it, made a bigger corrective structure, still was safe from the stop and has now pushed up higher. We are now almost approaching 13,000 on uh, Bitcoin and our entry was here at around 11. Let's just see the exact entry point was around 11,400. We are now at 13,800, almost $8,400 up on Bitcoin. Very nice trade. Uh, this one has played out amazingly well. That is Bitcoin. So now what is the expected move on Bitcoin? So let's have a look at uh, the structure here. Let's go to the website and look at the four hour structure on Bitcoin. Now, uh, this is what we have here. So we are looking at these to be making a wave five here. Let's follow the five, the waves here in blue. Let's just follow the waves and see what the expected structure is. One, uh, that's one, that's two. The one starts with the diagonal, as you can see, we've got three waves there. Uh, now wave three, then we've got a wave four. What we're looking at now is for Bitcoin to complete a wave five around that area. So that's why we had this set up here for a buy. That's why we bought Bitcoin here, expecting that move to around there. So we are around at 12,900 now, approaching 13,000. The time now is about 10.30, 10.20 GMT on a Saturday. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, the date is uh, 24th of October. So just to make sure why, when, what, what time this webinar is happening. Right, so we've got the five waves there. We're expecting the five waves to happen in this intermediate degree like that. So that is Bitcoin. Let's go to the current structure. What is happening here? We're still expecting continuation to the upside. Any pullback on Bitcoin, we're still buying. We're still expecting to push to the upside. We've already cleared this level. So that means we're seeing further upside on Bitcoin. Very clear structure. Let's look at the rest of the structures. So Ethereum, you'll see the forecast on Ethereum. We're expecting Ethereum to push up higher like this. And that is what we expect. So let me just get you uh, all the cryptocurrencies, the before and after charts on Slack. Right, so that is Ethereum. Let's look at Ethereum on a Slack here. So this was the chart before. The expectation on Ethereum was for this to push up higher. Uh, the red lines that you see are in validation level. So what are we expecting on Ethereum? We're expecting this one to also complete the wave five after making this uh, red corrective structure in wave four in the yellow degree. So we're expecting one, two, three to the upside here. So how does that, how is that played out? This is how this one has played out. So now all these charts 
are listed on the website on our website for members before the moves happen so that's what we looked uh, we're looking at on ethereum let's go to ethereum uh, i think we've already seen this on uh, let's let's go through to ethereum now let's go to ethereum i've already opened the ethereum chart so this is what, what the ethereum chart looks like from the website and that is the expectation to the upside it's already played out showing you the chart here so this is what we have on ethereum just like bitcoin expect continuation to the upside it's a bit risky to buy it now at this level uh, although we're expecting a move to uh, push up higher that is the ethereum and let me see here if we've got another one let me see if we've got another one here do we have litecoin listed here let's see uh, we don't have litecoin listed but let's have a look at it anyway right so litecoin on the website so now nah, let's have a look at it like i said i'll show you all the charts forecasted whether they play out or not now litecoin we got it wrong here because we expected litecoin and we could see that there was something wrong here because all the other cryptos were showing upside but litecoin seemingly looked like it was going to make a move to the downside but what we're seeing in hindsight unfortunately hindsight is not it's the best side but it doesn't help us we don't uh, we need to see this just before they happen let's have a look at litecoin so litecoin we were looking at this looking uh, this one looking like a corrective structure it looked like it was a three-wave corrective structure it was still going to make a move to the upside before pushing up higher but instead what was happening like I said, we're looking at this now in hindsight. It was actually a one and then a correct a, a wave two there. We've got a wave two. And just like the others, it looks like it is now making a five wave corrective structure here. Let's see how this one is going to play out. We're looking for this one to continue to the upside. How does this change the overall structure? Let's have a look at the chart itself. Now, this chart is going to change as follows. These three waves is going to be like this. We're going to have this. And this is all the correction. This is all the correction that we have here. And that means this is not an impulse. That means this is a three wave corrective structure here on, on uh, Litecoin. And we're expecting this one. This move has already started. How will this play out? So this can be an ABC, another ABC corrective structure in the red degree. It can also be another ABC corrective structure in the red degree as follows. That is how we make adjustments. Uh, like this, so it's going to be the right color is going to be this one. So you have this one as a W, X, and then a Y. We've already started with this move. We should be expecting a pullback at some point before we get the last push to the upside. That is Litecoin. Now we should have seen that uh, Litecoin is playing out the exact same structure as Ripple because Ripple has done exactly what Litecoin was showing us, but we didn't pick that up, unfortunately. So this is how Ripple has played out. And it's also making a five wave corrective structure, but this one is only going to complete the wave two in the blue degree. What do we mean by wave two in the blue degree? This is uh, the wave two in the blue degree. You see it up there. So that means we're still going to continue to the downside here. So don't mind these arrows. They are not up to scale. You can see that they're going below zero. That with this no way we're going to go below zero on the cryptos. Let's look at uh, Ripple. So Ripple, this is Ripple. So like I said, this is... Uh, a similar structure that we could have seen on uh, Litecoin as well, but we didn't pick it up. So we've got a pulsing move, we've got a three wave corrective structure, and this one is starting a move to the upside. So that's what we are expecting on Ripple. But this one may be going up pretty correctively. There may be a change in structure here. Let's see how this goes. If it pushes up higher and this is a three wave corrective structure, we may see this playing out like this. Let's see how this is going to go. That is Ripple, and that's how we're looking at Ripple. Bitcoin Cash, this is Bitcoin Cash versus Bitcoin. The rest of the uh, currencies that I've covered so far, they are against the US dollar. So if you're looking at Bitcoin Cash, this one should continue to the downside after making this three wave corrective structure here. Uh, let's show the corrective structure. Uh, this is one, two, three. So it looks like we are making this one to the downside. So the currencies against uh, against Bitcoin are looking downside. Most of them are looking downside. So this is a pullback. We should see Bitcoin cash continue lower. All right. So let's uh, look at this one. Let's look at the daily here. That's Bitcoin cash. Expect continuation to the downside. Expect continuation to the downside. This is already play out. And we're going to look for this. Uh, 
if you look at the daily, there's a possibility that we stay within this range. We extended within this range because this could be a structure on its own. And then we push up higher like this before we drop. So watch out for this one. It's a clear, this one is a, it's a very likely one to happen that we push up higher before we come down on Bitcoin cash versus Bitcoin. Bitcoin Satoshi version, last week we indicated that this was a corrective structure. There was a possibility that this could even make a structure as follows. I've shown this one in the last week's video. One, two, three, pullback and then downside. I was still gonna get that push to the downside uh, and, and bounce back. Doesn't look likely, but let's see how this goes. If you get continuation patterns, this one is just gonna continue lower like that. Zcash. Zcash is straightforward. We have got a pulsing move down here. We've got a three wave corrective structure. We're expecting Zcash to continue to the downside. Wait for this corrective structure to play out. Then we'll be looking for this one to go down. How far will it go? That's on the daily. Just these three waves around this level. That is uh, Zcash. Let's go back to the four hour. Or for the rest. So if you look at the four hour, this is still playing out this a pulsing move. We can still get a corrective structure here. If you get a corrective structure like this, then that's a continuation pattern to the downside. Similar continuation pattern like that, because we've got three waves down there, we've got three waves up here. Now we'll be looking for this to make another three waves to the downside, making this a W, X, Y structure in the higher degree. Something like this. One, two, and the three. That's what we're looking at on Zcash. Monero. Monero is going to keep pushing up higher. So we've got three waves down here. Uh, this actually looks like one, two, three. We are pulling back here uh, with this one here. Is this corrective structure done? Are we going to get a continuation pattern from here and push up higher? There's a possibility that we also push up higher, take the top, come back down before we actually go. But otherwise, medium term bullish on Monero. Tron. Tron continues to the downside. This is Tron versus BTC. Continuation pattern there. We are almost at the end of the sequence. Uh, this one is showing rather a continuation pattern here. So this sequence may still push a little bit lower before we bounce up. Dash. Dash has made a nice pulsing move and a correction. So we'll expect Dash to continue lower. We've got one. This is a three wave structure as follows. We're gonna be expecting Dash to do that. Okay, we started with three waves up. Now we're coming down with three waves. So any continuation pattern on Dash against US dollar, you can sell that. Omisego. Omisego, we've got a strong impulsive move from right at the top. Very interesting move. Let's show this in yellow. We've got this impulsive move and then we get a pulsing move here in the lower degree. Now, what is happening here? We've got three waves down. Now we get another pulsing move here. Let's use uh, which color we're going to use. We're running out of colors. Let's use red here. We expect this. We expect this to complete. We expect that. Then this corrective structure will be over. Then we'll have this one as A, B, C corrective structure. We'll be looking for this here. If you want more detailed uh, uh, labeling, you can do that, but I'm not going to do that. So we're looking for this structure to complete. The main, the main trade that you're looking for is the one in purple and the one in yellow. And when that move is done, we'll be looking for this. Right, so that is Omisego. Let's look at Golem. Golem is going sideways. It's, it's made a pulsing move, pulsing move, just like the others, it's making this structure. I'm gonna use the same color here. So we could be getting this here on Golem and it has started with three waves to the downside. We'll expect the same here. WXY structure. Now somebody can ask me, why do I sometimes label W, sometimes ABC? That's a whole 
modulo of the course that we cover to identify the difference between WXY and ABC. Right, so that's what we're looking at. We're looking for a complex uh, for a complex structure. We're looking for more sideways move here on Golem before any move to the downside. Binance. Binance one, two, three. Just look for continuous in pattern up to this level though, because at that level you may bounce first before coming down. We have made a move up in three. Now we're coming down in three. So that is the structure we're looking at. That is balance and link. Link is making a similar move to what we've seen on uh, Euro New Zealand. Check out the Euro New Zealand trade uh, uh, analysis on uh, on the Forex video. You'll see a similar structure as this. So let's see here. So we've got three waves up here. Is this another going to make another three waves to the upside like this? Then we got this as a W, as a X and a Y before coming down. Let's watch this one here play out. But otherwise, this is still uh, pretty much bullish, but we could be at the end of the move here. And we have a structure like this. We've started with five waves down, correction. We'll look for this one to come down. That is link. All right, so that's all of the pairs that I wanted to look at this week. If you want additional pairs, please drop a comment. Uh, somebody has requested that we look at XLM. So that is why I have added XLM. I didn't add XLM. Okay, so let's just look at XLM because there was a request. So if you want an additional uh, instrument to be uh, analyzed, just uh, drop a comment if we are able to do it we will definitely look at it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button so you can get a notification next time we upload the video. Let's look at the XLM versus US dollar as our last pair for the week. So this is making a sequence to the upside. This looks like a running flat here. We have made a one, two, but looks like we can still make an impulse here. So we can make five waves here. If it's going to be five waves, that means we're going to get a wave four at some point here and then continue into the upside. Let's look at the whole structure, see what we're getting here. Let's look at it on the daily. The sequence is upside, no, indica no indication of downside at this stage. Uh, let's look at the daily and look at the whole structure on the dailies. So on the daily, we've got a bigger running flat here. This is a bigger running flat. Now you see here, if we're looking at it on the daily, it is bearish. It is bearish even if this one makes a continuation pattern to the upside here, eventually we should see this continue lower like this. We are still coming down with that move. And this is a running flat here, one, two, three. So the upside that we're looking at in the lower degree is only short term. Otherwise, on the daily, we'll be looking for downside. So when you're buying uh, XLM against US dollar, be careful because soon it will drop. Right, guys, enjoy your week. We'll see you again on Saturday, exactly the same time. That is at around 11, no, at, at 11 GMT. Now I'm wrong. Let's get this right. I'll see you next week at... Uh, so the Forex video starts at uh, 9 a.m. GMT. This will start at 10 a.m. GMT. 10 a.m. GMT if you'd like to attend this live. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye.